Hello, tubers. How are you doing today? <clears throat> well, I hope you do have a good day, getting closer to God, following his ways, and praying the rosary, because Yahweh is the best way. Today, I wanted to talk upon the topic of spanking and how God feels about it, because I always try to instill um, what God's ways are for people to understand God's ways. And God believes in spanking his children. And yes, he does. Yeah. And I'll give you an example of this. Back in the Old Testament, back in Moses' days, in the book of Exodus, God had promised the Israelites, along with Moses, a land that was flowing with milk and honey. However, there was a condition. They had to go into the land and conquer the people that were already inhabiting that land. And what the Israelites did not do was follow God's direction. They were afraid. They did not think that they can conquer those people. God got angry. And when he got angry, he said to them, or oh, what happened was they had to spend 40 years in the desert wandering around. Why 40 years? Because he wanted those people that were disobedient to die off before their children who were innocent that uh, so they could enter in that particular promised land. He did not want the people who d disobeyed God to enter in that land of milk and honey. So they were around, they were wandering around in the desert for 40 years because they disobeyed God's command. So that was a form of spanking them. And like I say, you know, God, God is tough. You have to follow his ways. If you don't follow his ways, uh, you get spanked. So taking that information and projecting it to 2021, the year that we're in, we are suffering now because we are being disobedient to God. He is spanking us. And that's why we're in this predicament, because we are disobeying God, his commandments, his, his ways. And if we don't change the ways and turn to God's ways, we're going to keep on suffering. We're not following his ways. So, you know, history tends to repeat itself and God is very firm and he doesn't change his mind. He has his ways and he sticks to them. So learning God's ways is very important because it has a big, uh, a big effect in your life, in our lives, in, in the society's life. So that's the message of today. Follow God's ways. Understand God's ways. I'm sure you don't want to be spanked. And nor do I. So this is why I do what I do. This is why I pray the rosary and I do, you know, do as much as much as I can to follow his ways. And because uh, in my younger days, I didn't follow God's ways and I, and I suffered for it. And I eventually learned to follow God's ways. So please people heed this warning, learn from the book of Exodus, what happened to the Israelites, even Moses, Moses never entered the uh, the promised land. So, like I said, God is tough. God is tough. He's loving, but he he is he is tough. So, well, that's the message of today. I hope you learned something. Hope you appreciated it. If you did, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, God bless.